YouTube Essentials here, so for this project I'll be using 1 by 2 inches wood that I got from Home Depot and I wanted cutting it before going home and then I noticed that the guys in charge for cutting were so busy and I didn't have much to cut anyway so I remembered what my mom always used to say if no man is around to do it for you, you do it yourself I went back home and started putting the pieces together for my project I started off by using mending plates to join the pieces together. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I used mending plates to join the bottom part as well, but it didn't turn out so sturdy so I ended up using screws to connect them by the side to join the woods together and I did that at an angle. This is a leftover canvas panel that I'll be using at the top for both doors that will be by the sides. I'm using this because I want the top of the door that will be by the side to be thin and then the one at the bottom will be thick using the actual wood. This is where the doors by the sides will be. And at the top, I'll be using wall brackets. And I'm using wall brackets because they have some kind of decoration there. And that's what I want to be using for the doors. Now, before I attach this, I'll be using hinges. These are large hinges that I got from Walmart. And I'll be using them to attach both doors by the side to the one in the middle. And I will use two at the top and two at the bottom. Now before I continued, I realized it would be easier to attach the wall brackets to the wood that's by the side for better accuracy before I go ahead to attach the hinges. I added more wall brackets to complete the design at the top. I wanted using a navy blue lace for this project and because they costed more, I decided to just go with this one that I got from Walmart. After I've attached the lace, I will be spray painting it navy blue. The lace is going to be attached to the wood using a hot glue gun and I'm going to be starting by the sides. fabric will cover all over the top, including the hinges, and I made sure that it did not affect the movement of the door. I'll be cutting off the excess fabric here and then gluing down what I have left.
all this part here, the fabric is glued to the wood and not to the brackets. I did the same thing for the other side and glued the fabric all around and made sure it was okay. And then I took it out and I spray painted it navy blue and left the top. I later covered the lower parts so that I can spray paint the top gold. Then I took these decorative shapes that I got from Michael's craft store, spray painted them gold as well, and I used them to decorate the corners. These are golden beads that I got from Walmart. They can also be gotten from the Dollar Tree and I'll be gluing them down to the side of each doors to add to the design. I made sure that as I was adding this, it did not affect the movement of the door. The open spaces here will be filled up with another design of the decorative shapes. I'll be spray painting them gold and then gluing them inside. This shape will be attached to the iron at the bottom and the shape that will be put at the top will be glued to the iron here. I'm using a hot glue gun to attach the pieces first just to keep them in place and see what it looks like and then I'm going to go around with a stronger adhesive. I wanted letting you guys know that the base here was spray painted gold so that it would flow with the design that will be at the top. Now the middle part here is going to be covered with beads. Because of what the top looks like, I decided to make something circular here too. To make this pattern flow with the rest of the design, I added two more here. I took small shiny fillers, one at a time, and then glued it at the middle of all the circles. And added some here as well. Because I know the back will be seen once in a while, it was not looking really neat. And I was out of spray paint, but I had this at home. And this is English Navy. I've used the Navy Blue with the English Navy for a project before and that's how I know that using both of them together will actually work. This is what the back looks like, and my room divider is ready. I love the way this looks, and I also love the way the navy blue looks beautiful with the gold. 
I needed something sturdy for the top. And so the wall brackets were the only thing that could come to mind, which worked perfectly by the way, and it was the cheapest I could find for $5 and some change, because decorative wall brackets can really be expensive. If you have a small space and you want this to be a functional room divider, you can actually hang little items on it. This room divider is 5.5 feet high and 4.5 feet wide. And you can make yours as high and as wide as you like. I cannot say it enough about how excited I am about this room divider. I just love it so much and you too can make yours for your home using the same color combination or any other color scheme of your choice. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.